Hi everybody and welcome back to the next tutorial. My name is Alex and today we are going to scrape table data with beautiful soup. So this will be actually the table information we want to extract and it's about the UFC fighters who have been tested positive for COVID-19. Okay, so again here we have our Jupyter Notebook. This will be our IDE and I've actually provided all the headings so that we know directly what we need to do in the next step, okay? So let's go ahead and let's start. This is the URL, it's bloodyelbow.com, okay? With all this extension here. Now I want to copy this one and I will also paste it inside the comment section or sorry, inside the description section underneath this video so you can directly start with this link here okay so for now i go back to the jupyter notebook and i want to store this one inside the website variable okay let's do this as our first step and actually i should have started with the imports but we also can do this uh, quite quickly so we need to import beautiful soup from bs4 okay this is our first step Sorry, next one is we need to import the requests library. This is number two, requests. And finally, we need to import the pandas library and the PD is the abbreviation, okay? So again, this is the common convention for pandas. Let's run this cell, number one. Then we can also run this one. It's fine. And now let's send a request to this website and store it inside the response variable, okay? So it's request.get and the website. So this looks fine. Now let's check the status code. And 200 always means this is the best what can happen to you. <laughs> that means you have successfully sent your HTTP request to this website. And now in the next step, we need to create our soup object. That means here I want to store it inside this soup variable. Okay, that means let's start with beautiful soup. And here we need to provide two different arguments. The first one is response.content. And number two is the html.parser. Okay, so these are our two arguments. Let's run it. And now let's print out the soup object. So soup okay and this is actually all our information which is necessary for our project okay now let's go ahead and take a look where we can store the results table okay so right click inspect and now let's take a look at the html structure here you see that inside this table tag okay we have the t head so table head t foot and then the table body okay and underneath this table body, we have all our necessary rows, okay? And in each and every row, we have the TDs. That means this is our table data, okay? Now let's go ahead and let's think about a logic structure. I would say we can start here, okay, with this line, okay? We have table, then we have class, and we have this value here, okay? Copy this one. Again, remember we have table and class. Let's go ahead and use the soup variable, soup.find. Okay, we start with the table, comma, and inside this dictionary or inside the key, I want to provide the class. Then we have a colon, and inside the value, I've just pasted what I've copied here. Okay, it's this one. This is it. So at least this is the first step. Okay, now we need. Actually, let's run the cell. Now we want to get access to this table body. Okay, again, we start from here. We want to get access to this T body. Okay, that means let's use again the find function, find T body. Okay, let's see what we have. All right, and now in the next step, we want to get access to all this T rows. Okay, table rows, TR. Okay, and this actually should be our starting point. All right, so now let's use the find all function, find underscore all, okay, and tr. Now let's run it again, and this looks actually fine. So for now what we can do is we can store everything inside a results variable, number one, 
And now let's take a look at the length of these results. Okay. And you see here we have all in all 74 entries. Okay. And this is actually our starting point. At least I call it like this. Okay. You don't have to do this. Starting point. All right. And now in the next step, what we need to do is I want, actually, this is my way of work. Okay, guys. So I start with result number zero. Okay. So with the index, with the index zero. So it means I start from the first result. And what I want to do is, so you see, this is actually quite straightforward. Here, I want to extract all the information which is necessary. Again, I want to have this six information. So fighter reported, card, card date, opponent, and the resolution. Okay. And all this information is actually stored inside the TDs. Okay. Table data. So the first one is, so let me just take a look. So the first one is find TD. Okay. Find TD. Doo -doo -doo. This is number one. Then we need to provide the index number zero, okay, because we want to get access to the first TD. Okay, and now we have an error message. Let me just check what I have messed up. Okay, and instead of find all, I've just provided find. This is wrong, because here we have multiple TDs. That means let me go ahead and um, replace it with this correct function. Run it again. And now, voila, we have successfully grabbed the first name. Okay. And now the rest of the data is actually quite straightforward. Let me show you again. Copy this one, paste it here. And you see that here we had to target the first TD with index number zero in order to get access the, to the fighter's name. Okay. Actually, let me provide it here. It's the name. Okay. Next one, what we have, we have the reported date. That means we just need to do the same, except the fact that now we need to target the index one in order to get access to this text information here, okay? And also I need to use the get underscore text function because here I don't want this opening and closing text. Okay, run it, and now this looks fine. So I'll copy this one, same for that and replace name with reported date, okay? And you see here, now we have successfully grabbed our date. So we need to do this for the remaining four data, data points, copy this one, paste it here. The next one is the card, okay? And the information about the card is inside this TD number one, two, three, okay? This is the card information. Let's do this. So here we have the card and let's replace index one with index number two. Okay, voila, this is what we need to have. So you see here, this table is actually quite simple and actually very, very straightforward. Okay, copy this one, paste it here. And now let's replace this card with the card date. Okay, so it's card date. It's stored um, here, okay. That means let me replace index two with index number three. Okay, and you see here, this date is actually the same. Let's make a cross check. It's also the same. And here we see it again. Okay, now let's go ahead and grab the opponent's name. Okay, so it's the opponent name. Copy this expression, paste it directly underneath. Let's replace index three with four, and this is the opponent's name. And finally, what we have is, let's check, it's the resolution, okay? So now we have the resolution, resolution, and it's actually inside number one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? Inside this sixth TD, that means we need to work with index number five, okay? And this is actually it. So sorry for that opponent name. Okay, so this is what we need to have. So here we had actually the ability to extract the data for the first row. Okay, and in the next step, what we need to do is we need to write a for loop in order to extract all the data for all 
our 74 rows, okay? But before I proceed, let me just grab my tea. And now let's go ahead and write our for loop. So first of all, what I, I always do, I create empty lists for all the data points, okay? And in the next step, when I loop through each and every result, I want to append the appropriate data to this empty lists. Okay, so the second data point is the reported date. Okay, number three, we have the card. Then we have the card date. So number four, then number five, we have the opponent. Okay, it's, sorry, opponent. Okay, and finally, we have the resolution. Okay, it's resolution. So these are our six empty lists, okay? This is actually the convention to create, <coughs> sorry, to create our empty list. And now let's go ahead and write the for loop. So for i in, and let's see, it was this one, okay? We have stored the results inside this results variable. Copy this one for i in results and again i is just our iteration variable and with each and every iteration what we want to do is we need to append the appropriate data inside this created empty lists okay that means first we start with the name so it's name dot append okay and what do we want to append it's the iteration variable itself and then all this remaining part here okay copy this one back down paste it here and then provide one um, dot or on one point and actually for demonstration purposes let me just run this cell and let's see what we have here inside this name list okay so now again I've already r run the cell let me do it again okay and now with this expression here, let's take a look at the name and voila, now we have actually accessed all the names of the fighters who have been tested um, COVID positive. Okay, and let's make a cross check. We should actually have 74 results and voila, 74 is correct. That means our logic works. Okay, so we have the name and now we have actually the reported date. Okay, reported date. That means we want to append our data to the reported date list. Okay, again, we start with the iteration variable and the remaining part is this one. Okay, copy this, go back down, paste it here. This is number two. Then we have the card and we want to append everything inside this card list card.append i dot and we need again to copy this remaining part here copy this one back down paste it here then number four is the card it's the card date right card date that means let's target the card dead list card date dot append i dot and it's this part here okay copy this one back down paste it here number five is the opponent opponent that means let's target the opponent list dot append again i dot and i need to copy this one paste it here and finally we have the resolution okay resolution that means resolution list dot append i sorry append then we have the i dot and i want to copy this part here okay copy this one paste it here and now this actually should look fine this is it let's now cross the fingers run this cell here okay and now we have an error message so let's take a look what this actually means Okay guys, sorry for that. Actually, I've forgotten to provide the append function here. Okay, so it's here inside line 15, this one. 
Okay, of course this does not make sense at all. I've forgotten to mention dot append because here we want to append everything inside this list here. Okay, this is it. Let's run the cell again. And now we don't face any error messages anymore. This is fine right now. In the next step, we want to output all our results inside the pandas data frame. That means let's create one variable here. Let's say it's UFC underscore DF equals to PD. And again, PD is our alias for the pandas. Okay, this is it. So PD dot data frame. And now we need to work with key value pairs because this is a dictionary. And first of all, we start with the name. This is our key and the value is the name list. Okay, this is the logic behind it. Next one, we have the reported date. And here we need to use the reported date list. Next one is the card. Let's append the card list. Number four is the card date, card date. Let's append the card date list. Number five is the opponent's name. So, oh, sorry for this, opponent. Okay, this is the correct spelling. Opponent, and here let's append the opponent list. And finally, we have the resolution. Resolution, and here we need to append the resolution list. It's this one. Okay, so again, here we had created this empty list. Inside this for loop, we have looped through all results and appended the appropriate data inside this list here. And now in the next step, we want to print everything out inside this pandas data frame, okay? And after I've created this variable here, I also want to directly get access to this one. So let me just call it UFC DF, okay? Let's run it and voila. Guys, this is what we wanted to have. Here we have successfully grabbed the data. Okay, so let's make a cross check. The first fighter's name is Rani Yahya. And it's this one. And the final one is the Lyman Good. Let's take a look. Let's scroll all the way down. And here we have Lyman Good. Okay, that means this logic was actually correct. Okay, and this is our final table. So now the last step is to store everything inside an Excel file. Let's do this. UFC underscore DF dot to Excel, this one. And here let's provide one name. Let's say it's UFC table. UFC table dot XLSX for the Excel extension. Okay, and the index is false. That's it. Let's run this cell and make sure you open right now the folder where your notebook is actually stored. So for me, I need to take a look at my other screen where I actually have stored all this stuff here. Give me just one second. And now this is my folder. Okay. And this is the file which was provided a few seconds ago. Okay. Double click on this one. And guys, congrats. This is our data. Okay, this is our data. And this should actually look fine. Okay, so this is it. Okay, thank you very much again, guys, for your time, for your attention. If you have any kind of questions, let me please know. And I hope to see you in one of the upcoming tutorials. Bye bye.